Right, welcome to Work With Nature Vlog and disaster has struck. For the third time in a row, a cow has broken in and basically munched away a huge amount of stuff. Now before I get into the details of that, I wanted to share with you a story. But two weeks ago I went back towards the center and I was passing a temple and next to the temple there's this water buffalo tied up. And this particular day the water buffalo was kind of caught in a lot of wire. Now, in the temple or on the grounds of it people were actually sitting and they were watching me kind of try and help this buffalo and once i got the wire off they all started applauding and i was like thinking to myself well applaud all you like but why didn't you just go and help the poor buffalo i, I was really amazed how some people can be just really you know and these were people from a temple and it was like buffaloes and cows are like holy to 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 people here and these people particularly, now I'm not giving out about Indians in general, you know, some Indians would have of course helped it, this is not, nothing like that. But I was just really amazed at, um, at humanity, how they could just sit there idly and do nothing. And if Indians are watching this, maybe you could explain to me why, why cows are left roam by themselves. Why, why does nobody take good care and, and responsibility for these holy animals. This is something that I wanted to uh, vlog about because it's something, I don't understand it, I don't get it. No, anyway, so having said that, this cow, we just, we built a fence all around the area because you can either, you know, get mad at the cow people who are not taking care of the cows or you can just build a fence and, and just take responsibility and basically this cow got in for about the third time now and has done a lot of damage again and the rice field if you remember the rice experiment totally flattened eaten a uh, lot of bananas ate about 80 sweet corns some of them were like really high and i'm just really annoyed about that kind of thing because it's like such carelessness and this is a question to you at home Often in Ireland, for instance, I would be observing how farmers would drive their cows or their cattle or their animals down the road. And if there was a, a gap in the fence, there would always be this issue of who's responsible. Is the farmer responsible for closing the gap or is the owner responsible for closing the gap? If you know what I mean. So that's an, that's an issue, a question I want to uh, figure out. Who's actually responsible for the animals? and the property. Maybe both, maybe one, maybe the other. Just uh, drop a comment down below and see what you think as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. A short little uh, rant. Um, what can you say? <laughs>